Hey, what's up, everybody? Doran Aldana here coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. And today we're going to talk about five steps to make 2021 the absolute best year yet, even if rates go up, even if the economy goes down the toilet. How can you make your business have its absolute best year yet, regardless of rates, regardless of the economy, regardless of what's going on in terms of inventory, and how to do that with less trouble and struggle and less effort than what you did this year in 2020? That is the million dollar question, is it not? So let's dive into it, shall we? Let's talk about the five steps to make 2021 your best year yet. The first step in the process is get clear. Get clear on what you want to create in your business. Clarity is power. So do you have a compelling goal, a compelling vision for 2021? Do you know how much income you want to earn? How many hours you want to work? Do you know what kind of team you want to have? What are the qualities and characteristics of the members on your team? Do you have clarity on the number of vacations you're going to go on? Assuming, of course, of course, that COVID crazy settles down, you actually can travel outside of state or country. And so you just want to get clarity on where you want to go and what you want to create. Because if you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. So that's the first step is knowing where you want to go. But it's not enough just to know where you want to go. You've got to have a vision that's exciting, that ignites you and excites you, that gets you fired up and motivated. If it's just a minuscule little goal where you're just wanting to increase your volume by maybe 5 million for the year or maybe 10 million for the year, that may not be enough. we got to get a vision, a goal that fires you up. When you think about it and you get yourself connected to the vision and you imagine yourself already being there and accomplishing it, it should light you up like a freaking Christmas tree where you just get ignited and excited and jacked and juiced because it's a glorious vision that's compelling, that's worthy of your life and your life's energy. Don't ask, what are you worthy of? But rather ask, what's worthy of you? What vision, what goal is worthy of your gift, your time, your energy, your effort? And come up with something that really fires you up. So that's the first step is get connected to the specific measurable results you want to create in 2021 that when you hit those numbers, when you hit those measurable outcomes, not just in terms of income, but also lifestyle, contribution, donations, charity, impact, serving others, making a difference in your community, making a difference in the world, not just income, but lifestyle and impact, contribution. When you have all three of those working together in tandem, and all three of those areas are compelling, measurable, and specific, that's when you've got a magical vision, a compelling vision that calls you into your greatness, that calls you into the best version of yourself. So that's the first step in the process. The second step is, what's your why? Now, Doran, didn't you already talk about the why? Didn't you talk about the clear, compelling goal? Isn't that enough? Isn't that my why? No, that's not your why. Your why is what's at stake if you don't. You see, it's not enough to just dangle carrots in front of you. Sure, many people are motivated by carrots. I'm not getting uh, you know, in a state of mind where I'm delusional to the fact that people are absolutely motivated by carrots. What I am saying is that we also need to have the stick. It's not enough to just be motivated by the carrot. We also have to be motivated by the stick. The stick is what's at stake if you don't? What's at stake if you stay at the same spot you're at or heaven forbid you regress? What's at stake in terms of your ability to provide for your family? What's at stake in terms of your own mental sanity? What's at stake in terms of your health, your financial well-being, your emotional well-being, your relational well-being, your spiritual well-being? What's at stake in terms of the impact that will have on you and your family if you stay stuck in the same spot you're at now? Now, you may be at a great spot right now. You may be happy where you're at. And here's the truth. Greatness is reserved for those who are so defiant 
so defiantly committed to greatness, they're willing to divorce good in order to get to great. And good, if you're doing good, if you're doing better than most, it is a slippery slope to complacency because you're doing good, right? You look around, you say, hey, I'm doing better than most. I'm doing pretty good. Good is always the mortal enemy of great. So you have to get to the point where you're sick and tired of settling for good. And that's when you're ready for great. You don't get to great just because you want it. You don't get to great just because you think you are better than most and you have the acumen, the expertise, and the talent. You get to great because you're freaking defiantly committed to greatness and you're sick and tired of settling for good. That's when you're ready for great. So your why is inextricably linked with something at stake for you where there's going to be some real pain or a real consequence or a real cost if you don't step up your game. But Doran, I'm already doing pretty well. There's not really anything at stake. Well, that's chances are why you're still at the same spot you're at. Because until and unless you get heart connected to what it's costing you staying in the same old rut, at the same old spot, spinning your wheels in the rut of stagnation, chances are you'll never step up to that next level. So no one can give you clarity and heart connection to purpose. That's on you. You've got to get connected to what's at stake if you don't step up your game. You may need to journal that. You may need to sit down with a pen and paper and write down the 50 consequences if you don't step up your game and the 50 glorious benefits when you do step up your game. Now you're starting to get to your white hot fire of burning desire. Why? That will compel you and propel you to that next level. So let's talk about the third step now. The third step is identify the gap. Identify the gap. Now that gap is the gap between where you are now and where you want to be. And so, for example, if you're doing a million a month right now and you want to get to two million a month, that gap is a million a month, right? So depending on what your average loan size is, that might be three loans, that might be two loans, that might be four loans. Somewhere between probably three and two loans is what that would take to get you to that next level for most of you. Now, some of you, you don't want to go from 1 million to 2 million. You want to get from 1 million to 3 million or 1 million to 4 million, or you want to double or triple your income. Now, you also want to be able to do that in less time, energy, and effort. So there might be a combination of volume as well as leadership, as well as systems, as well as automation, policy, procedure, protocol, team. So it's not just about more volume. It's about the different components that allow you to have the lifestyle you want, the freedom you want, the peace of mind you want where you're not grinding, working 50, 60, 70 hour weeks. So it's a qualitative process here. It's not just about volume. You know it and I know it. It's about having a life and a lifestyle that makes you feel like you're living the dream. That's why you got in this business, right? You didn't get in this business just to make more money, although certainly that was one of the components. You got in this business because you wanted to set your own hours, set your own schedule, have freedom, autonomy, independence. You wanted to be able to create the life and the lifestyle of your dreams, true or not true. So the gap is the gap between where you are now and where you want to be on those different components of lifestyle and income and impact, the impact you're having in your family, in your community, in the world. And so why is it important to identify that gap? Because it helps you determine how many additional loans you need per month. Because once you identify it, for example, if, if you were wanting to just have a small, modest improvement in your income, and you just want to have an additional million dollars per month in volume, and your average volume per deal was uh, three hundred and thirty-three thousand dollars. Then all you need is an extra three loans per month, right? So if that's the case, then what we want to do is determine the shortest path to the cash to get those additional three loans a month, and that's the next step in the process, which is determining the shortest path to the cash. Now I'll tell you that it's not as complicated as you might think. If you want to get an extra three loans a month, in particular in the purchase business, so you're not sitting on a one-legged stool relying on refis, 
that are bound to dry up as soon as rates go up. You don't want to be caught with your pants down, unequipped and ill-equipped, scrambling to recoup that lost revenue. You want to start building in the purchase business. So let's say, hypothetically speaking, you want to add an extra three loans a month to your purchase business. Now the question is, what is the shortest path to the cash to get there? The shortest path to the cash is and always will be attracting top producing real estate agents who make you their exclusive, put you on their speed dial, send you all their business all the time without the hell of cold calling. That is always the shortest path to the cash. So you want to be able to attract these top producing agents, but you don't want to beg. You don't want to chase. You don't want to grovel. You certainly don't want to be prospecting, pounding pavement, cold calling. That's old school. And that's freaking hard work, trudging through the mud with concrete blocks on your feet, doing it the caveman, Cro-Magnon style from the dark ages. This is the 21st century. It's time to step up our game. It's time to use automation. So how do we do that? We do that by stepping up your ability to have a compelling value proposition. We want to have a compelling value proposition that's so kick-ass, that's so unique, that you become irreplaceable and indispensable, where they send you that exclusive stream of buyer leads and you are their go-to mortgage pro. So how do you do that? You do that by determining what you can do that no one else can. And ideally, that's going to be on the marketing side of your business, not just providing great rates and great service, because let's be real, everyone touts great rates and great service. Instead, you want to go above and beyond that and show them how to grow their business with more ease, more flow, more finesse, with more acumen and more sophistication. You want to become their marketing partner, not just their mortgage loan officer. Notice that's a next level of value that you can bring if you have the marketing muscle to help them mine the gold from their database, maximize repeat and referral business, help them dominate on Google with five-star reviews, help them turn dead leads into hot for what you got leads, help them generate more inquiries from their listings, help them get more listings. Help them utilize technology to automate their follow-up process. Help them use multimedia so they're expanding beyond just using email, for example, so they can squeeze more profit-producing juice out of the fruit they already have and turn more of the leads they're already generating into more closings. You see, if you can help them do that, if you can help them bring in more business with less time, energy, and effort, you become the only logical choice. It's a no-brainer. Because everyone else is showing up as a loan leech, offering great rates and great service. And as I like to say, in the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. It doesn't take much to dominate once you've got even a little bit of respectable, unique value to bring to the table. I mean, you leave most of your competition in the dust. And that's precisely why people hire us. So they don't have to mess around trying to figure out how to do this. They just stick the key in the ignition and drive away with proven battle-tested, time-tested campaigns, with proven systems, with proven templates, with proven scripts, with pr uh, proven tools to help them get their cash register rigging with more zeros and commas than ever before. That's why people will hire us so that loan officers, mortgage professionals like yourself don't have to try and reinvent the wheel and try and figure out all this stuff themselves. Now, last but not least, the fifth step to making 2021 your absolute best year yet is gamify your daily action plan. Gamify your daily action plan. You see, pretty much everyone knows that the top two most profitable activities in a mortgage professional's business is reaching out to clients, getting repeat and referral business, as well as rave reviews, and to go after realtors and get the best quality realtors to send you the most amount of business. Those are the only two most profitable activities in your business. It's not any more complicated than that. Yes, you can do Google AdWords. Yes, you can do Facebook ads. Yes, you can do social media. Yes, you can do Instagram. Yes, you can do all these other things, but those pale in comparison to those top two strategies. Most people neglect those top two strategies and then they go ahead and do all those other methods. It's like stepping over dollars to pick up dimes. It's crazy. 
because those other methods, you need to generate 50 to 100 to 200 leads just to convert one freaking deal. That's not intelligent. That's not strategic. That's stepping over dollars to pick up dimes. Instead, what you want to do is pick the low hanging fruit, but you want to cultivate a daily routine that allows you to do quality seed planting. You see, harvest season is different than sowing season. And the reason why most mortgage professionals fail is because they have the need for instant gratification. They'll reach out to a few realtors with the wrong methods, with the wrong strategy. They'll bang their head against the wall a few times and they'll say, this hurts. And then they'll just quit. They don't bother investing in themselves with a proven plan. They don't bother getting an expert in their corner to show them how to do it the smart way. They just do it the hard way and they say, screw this, I'm not going to do this. Or they're suckers for punishment and they do it and they realize, shit, I have to do 50 calls, 100 calls before I even get an appointment. And it's tough slugging. So it's a combination, guys, of both strategic, intelligent action, intelligent, inspired action, and consistent action. Now, the way we gamify it is, for example, if you want to attract five top producing agents who send you one loan a month because your goal is to generate an extra five closings a month and you know if you have a top producing agent who makes you their exclusive, all you need is one top producing agent to be able to send you one deal a month who makes you their exclusive. Now, if we 5X that, you've hit your goal. There's five agents sending you one loan a month. That's five additional loans a month. You guys with me? So that's the shortest path to the cash. The question is, how do you do that? You do that by having the words that work with the right campaign, with the right words, with the right media types that get these people the, the attention of these agents. You need to target the right agents, then get the attention of the right agents with the right words that work. And then it's like shooting fish in a barrel. It's like cutting a block of butter with a hot knife. It's easy, breezy, lemon squeezy. I had one client, he booked 11 appointments with top producing agents in one day. 11 in one day. And he was a newbie and he didn't even have a pleasing personality. He was kind of a little bit dorky. His voice sounded a little weird. But because he had the words that work and because he had a proven campaign and because he was leveraging a proven system, he booked 11 appointments with top producing agents in one day. That's the power of having a proven system. So gamifying it is instead of focusing on your volume, instead of focusing on your revenue and your commissions, instead of focusing on how many partners you want, those are all harvest fruit items on your harvest goal board of the things you want to achieve come harvest season. But those are what are called lagging metrics. They are not leading metrics, they are lagging metrics. In other words, it takes time to incubate into the closings, the units, the volume, the commission in your bank account, and those solid partners. It takes time to incubate, true? So the reason why most mortgage professionals fail is because they have a need for instant gratification. And so they don't gamify the daily seed planting. Number one, they don't have a proven system. Or number two, they don't gamify the daily process of planting good seed and winning every single day. So the key is to block scheduled time to reach out to past clients, have a system and a campaign to capture repeat and referral business, but also have time allotted to reach out to top producing agents using a system that attracts versus prospecting. Most people do prospecting, which is chasing, chasing realtors. Chasing them is cold calling. That's how not to do it. Attracting is sending words that work by email, by text, by voicemail, etc., that are so compelling it gets them to respond. And now the cream rises to the top and you're only talking with the people who are hot for what you got. That's called attraction marketing, not prospecting, but attraction. So once you start to game, once you got that system in place, now you can start to gamify it because now you can set a target every week. At the beginning of each week, you say, how many appointments am I going to book? In order to get my five uh, solid partners, I want to be able to 
book three appointments a week. To get three appointments a week, I'm gonna upload 20 realtors into our realtor attraction campaign. That will get me about eight to 15 people who are receptive to my message. Now, if I want to get three appointments a week, I'll probably need about that to get those appointments. I might need to upload 30 people to the campaign. So you'll have to play with the numbers a little bit. But whether it be 20 or 30 that you upload per week, you know without a shadow of a doubt that the system's going to churn up about eight to 16 people who are receptive and want to talk to you and want to meet with you. Now, all you do is pick up the phone and book appointments like a hot knife through butter and you book three appointments a week, which means you probably need to talk to about 10 to 15 people a week. So you gamify it where you say, I'm going to talk to three people a day and I'm going to book one appointment a day, or I'm going to, I'm going to talk to two uh, people a day. I'm going to book one appointment every second day. So you start to work the numbers here. How, here's how the numbers typically work. Okay. So out of 20 uploads, again, you're going to have about eight to 12 who are receptive, who are interested to meet with you. Out of those eight to 12, you'll probably get about half of them to actually book an appointment. So let's just say four. So out of 20 that you upload, you have four that you actually book an appointment for. So if your goal every week is to book three appointments, then it's just a matter of gamifying it, put it on a whiteboard and start to scratch it off. So as you make those appointments, you want to go one step further and go with the step before you book an appointment with us a live connection. So for example, if you really want to dumb this down to bare bones simplicity, let's just say that you're only converting one out of five on the phone. And that's ridiculously low, ridiculously low. It's usually about 50%. But let's just say for absolute conservative planning purposes, your goal is to get 15 realtors on the phone each week, which is about three per day, Monday to Friday, and get three appointments booked. So by gamifying it, you put it on your whiteboard, you say, I'm gonna have 15 conversations this week, I'm gonna book three appointments. By having that as a goal, you're winning every time you have a live conversation. You're winning every time you book an appointment. You're winning because you're tracking your success and measuring your success by leading metrics, not lagging metrics. The leading metrics are the activities that produce the lagging metrics, like appointments with these top producing agents. But of course, it's not enough just to have appointments. You have to have a system to be able to knock their socks off, wow their socks off, and to be able to give them an amazing first impression such that they are chomping at the bit to want to work with you. So this is not as easy as just getting appointments. You need to know what to say, how to say it, what questions to ask, how to identify their pain points and their challenges, how to actually fill those challenges with solutions. It's called diagnose first, prescribe second. We need a complete system from A to Z to not only get the interest, but then to get the appointment, not only get the appointment, but overcome common objections, not just get the appointment, but delivering a kick-ass appointment, not just delivering a kick-ass appointment, but having a system to actually have them make you their exclusive. If you hadn't noticed by now, that is not an easy feat for the untrained. The newbies that are delusionally optimistic, they think they can just go out there, throw yogurt to the fan, hoping something sticks, and it'll work out to be able to get them to their income goals. It doesn't take long for them to realize it's not as easy as they thought because these realtors, number one, aren't giving them the time of day. Number two, they're very, very sensitive to any words or any typical average overtures that get them thinking, oh, here comes another loan parasite. Here comes another loan officer who wants to suck me dry of referrals. And so they're very cynical, resigned, and they have a high wall of cynicism. If you haven't noticed by now, because they're sick of getting their time wasted by a bunch of loan leeches. You don't want that to be you. So you have to find a way to navigate through this overture in a way that doesn't fire off the alarm bells in their head that gets them putting up that wall of resistance. You have to find ways to turn 
the script such that they need you more than you need them. We have to flip the script so that instead of them interviewing you, you're interviewing them. How do you do that? Well, that's precisely why people hire us because we've been doing this for 15 years or better than anyone else on planet Earth at what we do when it comes to a complete turnkey system for not only targeting the right realtors, but attracting the right realtors and making them your exclusive without the hell of cold calling. So if you're listening to this right now and you're like, Dorn, I'm totally picking up what you're laying down. I'm loving the five steps, but frankly, I'm rather anemic when it comes to knowing how to execute. I get it, I get the big broad brush strokes, but I need the step-by-step -step paint by the numbers system. I need help filling in these gaps because frankly, I realize it's a heck of a lot more expensive to learn the hard way through my own trial, tribulation and trial and error than it is to learn from an expert. So if that's you and you're on 100% commission, you eat what you kill, no safety net, you make 80 basis points or higher, and you wanna at least add an additional $100,000 to your income in the next 12 months or less, and you want to build a recession-proof, rock-solid business that consistently grows each and every month with a steady, consistent, ever-growing flow of business into your pipeline, and you wanna build a rock-solid foundation in the purchase business so that you have the most reliable, consistent, predictable flow of income, and you don't have to be worrying where that next deal is gonna come from, and you don't have to worry about rates going up because you're least and last affected by market downturns as opposed to first and most. If that's you, and you, you don't wanna be messing around doing this the hard way, I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call where either myself or one of my consultants will hop on the phone with you, We'll lift up the hood on your business. We'll look at what's working in your business right now, what's not working in your business right now, where are you now in your business, where do you wanna be, and if we can help you bridge that gap and take you from where you are to where you wanna be, by all means, we'll show you what that looks like. If not, frankly, we will be the very first people to advise you to pass on our services. Either way though, you'll leave the call with massive value, massive clarity, and chances are we'll even have some fun along the way. Sound good? So if that sounds meaningful and worthwhile to you and you'd like to get more clarity than ever before on what it's really gonna take to insulate yourself from the inevitable market downturns post COVID as well as the inevitable rate hikes as things start to roll out and inflation starts to rise and the impact of COVID and all the debt accumulation and all the, the wake of chaos that COVID is already and will continue to produce, if you want to insulate yourself from that so you are absolutely recession proof, the purchase business is the way to go. You know it and I know it because the moment rates go up, there's going to be a ton of loan officers scrambling to recoup that lost revenue from refis. Many loan officers are having their best year yet this year, but 60%, 50%, 70% of the business is refis. That is not a secure business, that's a precarious business, that's a business sitting on a one-legged stool. You don't wanna be that person who literally overnight, 50, 60, 70% of the business is gonzo because rates went up. You don't wanna be that person who's freaking out, losing sleep every night, wondering how you're gonna keep the lights on because more than half your business is gonzo overnight. You wanna be the one sleeping well every night with a calm, relaxed smile on your face, knowing that you're built on the rock, not on the sand, and you're built to weather any kind of economic storm, and you've got a stable of rock solid top producing agents who make you their exclusive, and regardless of what's going on in the market, transactions are still happening, people are still getting into the market, people st are still moving up in the market, people are still getting married and getting their first home, people are still moving up to bigger homes, people are still buying revenue properties and income properties, people are dying and all of those events are requiring and are inextricably linked with a transaction, it might as well be you instead of your competitor, true? So if you wanna learn how to insulate yourself from those inevitable market downturns, you wanna learn the secret sauce on what it really takes 
to be in total control of your business, in total control of your pipeline, in total control of consistent growth for your future. Book a call. Go to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Again, that's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. So I trust you've got some insight and some value from this podcast episode. We've just been talking about the five steps to make 2021 your absolute best year yet, even if rates go up. It's not a matter of when, or rather, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when those rates go up. So get yourself prepared and get yourself positioned to prosper regardless of market conditions. So if that's of importance to you, book a call. Let's show you how to make it happen. MortgageMarketingCoach.com forward slash apply. Thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for listening. Be blessed. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. And may you have a prosperous, abundant new year and beyond. Be blessed, y'all. We'll talk to you. Set. Uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Peace.